Welcome to a new video. In this video I want to discuss the question if Honor can beat Huawei on the European market. So let's get started. You might have heard that Honor is not a sub-range of Huawei anymore, so they are independent and can release their own hardware and software the way they like to do it. And now with the 12th of August in Europe there will be a global launch of a new device equipped with the Snapdragon 888 Plus device, 5G support, Google Play support as well, so full, fully equipped just like almost every other smartphone as well. So they have the advantage already that Huawei doesn't have anymore and that deepens even more with the new Huawei P50 series that only comes in 4G instead of 5G. So what does this mean? Of course every other smartphone manufacturer is pushing 5G. Huawei was one of the first pushing 5G and now they are beat to the race basically because they are not anymore able to sell smartphones with a 5G chip inside. So this is one big advantage already for the home competition, uh, including, of course, Honor. And then what, what else? Honor got the best pieces of Emotion UI, called Magic UI, as well when they split with Huawei. So they get the best of Huawei software, as well as all the, yeah, nowadays on Harmony OS it's called Super Device, but all the connectivity features that uh, usually Huawei developed are all there on Honor devices as well. So you can pair your Honor device with your laptop, share files via drag and drop, and you have Huawei Share, or probably now renamed to Honor Share as well on this device, as well as yeah, other services and bits and pieces there. So yeah, I think Honor has something going there already. Plus they have no limitations of any US ban whatsoever. So they also have the possibility to include Google services together with the Play service and the Play Store, I mean, and all the applications, Google certificate, bank, NFC paying and so on, Google Pay, Apple Pay, no, Apple Pay, not Google Pay, and all the other ones as well included already in their smartphones. So they have the advantage. So I'm looking forward to the 12th of August to see Honor's answer to Huawei's legacy, I would say. What is with Huawei? Are they gone from the European market? It seems a little bit, at, at least when it comes to smartphones. When it comes to earpods or airpods like clones, they are still there. When it comes to, I think, televisions, they are also there. When it comes to over-ear headphones and uh, watches, they are still there. But when it comes to smartphones, I think you can slowly see the, the demise of Huawei as well. Now with the P50 series, probably going global at one point, but probably in September only with Snapdragon processors and limited feature sets, only 4G. So the yeah, customer will, base will be limited again, because yeah, of course in Europe, we usually don't have 5G so widespread as in, as in China, for example. But still, I think many will refuse to buy a Huawei phone if it doesn't come with 5G, because it's not future-proof. You cannot just then one day, within two years or something like this, 5G is there, just plug in a 5G SIM card inside and you have 5G, just like I can do on my Mate 40 Pro that I'm recording this with, for example. So this is one thing. The other thing is like, of course, Honor can go into the higher price regions now, but they will have difficulties probably with the branding, because the branding is like cheaper smartphones, basically in Europe especially. So they have to do something with the branding. So what I would suggest to Honor would be, would be very clever move if you start with the Honor 50 devices or Honor 50 series. So have like an entry level Honor 50 SE in Europe for let's say 330 euros or something like this. Have a slightly more expensive 350 to 380 euros. Uh, Honor 50 device and then the Honor Pro 420, 450, something like this. With all the yeah, necessities that you need, market it as a vlogging camera because vlogging is getting more and more popular. What I'm doing here right now is vlogging, of course. Um, 
have like a pre-order a bonus with uh, their what is it called true wireless uh on a true wireless ear fun ear, earbuds 2 se or something like this that have those uh, wonderful microphone setup of the freebuds 4 as well so you can use them for recording as wireless microphone or market them as vlogging device devices give them like maybe a stabilizer as well doesn't need to be it can be a self selfie stick because i think the uh, stabilization is pretty good and awesome and uh, maybe you have like a package with a smooth uh, 4 from uh, june for example um, or something like this as well market them as vlogging devices keep the prices low give good pre-order bonuses for people and then you will be quickly in the pockets of people in the hands of people of course google play services and such things uh, as well keep the design as well don't cut corners with the design uh, let the people especially in the price region of 300 to uh, 500 euros uh, have the best designs that they want to choose their design so give out the same designs that you also have in china it's also the glossy fancy uh, ones as well and i think it might reach pretty much audience wide right audience here in europe but this is my opinion what do you think about honor versus huawei will honor honor not only take over the chinese market or will yeah basically surpass huawei on the chinese market but also internationally globally just write it on the comment section what do you think about this and that is everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye